Instagram. Why don't you come along with me to my picture show? Come along, come along, come along, let's go. Oh, I really like to go to the picture show. Come along, come along with me. Do you want to hear a story? I do. Can I sing a song along with you? I'll hold the airship steady. Hop on board when you're ready. Come along with me, please do. Why don't you come along with me to my picture show? Come along, come along, come along, let's go. Oh, I really like to go to the picture show. Come along, come along with me. Hi there. My name is Teddy Ruxpin. I have a terrific story to tell you about one of my neighbors in Grundo. The one who always wants to get rich the easy way. I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. That's right, Twig. Before we go on with the story, please put in the picture wheel with the big number one on it. You know, not too long ago, Twig thought he was terribly ill. He was covered with spots and thought that he had a strange disease called the Tweezels. <laughs> but Twig wasn't sick at all. He just accidentally drank some water from Rainbow Falls. And anyone who drinks water from Rainbow Falls will turn colors, but only for a little while. Well, after Tweeg returned to his old self, he thought of a trick. He could make a lot of money by making everyone in Grundo think that they had the Tweezels. One sip of my special lemonade made with Rainbow Falls water and everyone will think they have the tweezels. And then I'll get really rich by selling them a phony antidote made with more Rainbow Falls water. No one will ever be cured. <laughs> so Tweeg and LB built a lemonade stand. They dressed themselves up as children so no one would guess who they really were. Unfortunately, Tweeg's plan worked very well from the start. Everyone bought lemonade from Tweeg. The fobs, the grunges, even Grubby, Gimmick, and I were tricked into buying some. Tweeg and LB sold a lot of lemonade and made a lot of money. But it's only a small fraction of what we'll make tomorrow when those fools get the tweezels. <laughs> And when they come running to me for my special antidote, I'll really be rich. Rich, I tell you. Sure enough, the next morning, almost everyone in Grundo discovered that they were covered with spots. Now you and I know what really causes the tweezels. That's right, drinking water from Rainbow Falls. But no one drank water from Rainbow Falls. At least, that's what we thought. I told Grubby and Gimmick, The only thing I drank yesterday was that lemonade those two boys were selling. There must have been something strange about that lemonade. So Grubby, Gimmick, and I went back to the lemonade stand. But it wasn't there anymore. Instead, there was a different stand, and everyone was trying to buy something called Uncle Arnie's Old Fashioned Tweezel Remedy. Ah, oh, yes. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen. Uncle Arnie's old-fashioned tweezel remedy. Guaranteed to cure anyone suffering the heartbreak of tweezels. On, hey, give me a dozen, will you? Oh, joy of joys. I'm going to be rich, rich, rich. <laughs> I knew that something odd was going on, and I had to find out what it was and fast. I ran around to the back of the wagon, making sure no one would see me. I saw a sign on the side of the wagon that said, Lemonade. Hmm. Remember the sign behind me in an earlier picture? It was the same sign we'd seen the day before. I had to find out more. So I climbed inside the wagon. There I found all sorts of bottles filled with brightly colored water. Then I saw a stack of lemons. Now it all makes sense. No wonder everybody's got the tweezels. Someone has mixed Rainbow Falls water with the lemonade. I knew that someone could only be Tweeg. Just then, I heard someone. I had to hide fast. 
I'm brilliant, L.B. Those fools couldn't buy enough of my fake remedy. Now, tidy up the place while I mix some more. I watched Tweed pour Rainbow Falls water into bottles to make more of his phony remedy. I wanted to make him stop tricking my friends. But how? I was trapped. Luckily, Grubby and Gimmick saw that I was in trouble. So Gimmick distracted Tweed by knocking on the window of the wagon and asking for more Tweezel remedy. Go away! We're closed! While Tweed was talking to Gimmick, I was able to escape. When Grubby Gimmick and I got back home, I told them all about Tweeg's greedy scheme. Well, we had to think of a way to make Tweeg stop selling his fake medicine and give back all the money he got from everyone. It took a while, but we finally came up with a good idea. We quickly flew the airship to the top of Rainbow Falls, where we had asked Wooly to meet us. As we waded through the water, we saw all sorts of beautifully colored rocks. These were some of the rocks that colored the Rainbow Falls water. And then we saw a cave. Gimmick told us that all the water for Rainbow Falls came from inside the cave. Wooly, uh, find the biggest rock you can and bring it back here. We'll use it to block the mouth of the cave. You see, if we could stop the flow of water from Rainbow Falls, Tweeg wouldn't be able to make any more of his fake medicine. He wouldn't have any Rainbow Falls water to make it with. While Wooly went off to find a big rock, Grubby, Gimmick, and I went inside the cave to take care of the next part of our plan. Inside was one of the prettiest sights I've ever seen. Lots and lots of beautifully colored rocks were turning the water all sorts of wonderful colors. It was like a room full of rainbows. Imagine a room full of rainbows. Rain in colors like you've never seen. The water is red, yellow, purple, and gold. And the walls are pink, silver, and green. And each thing that you touch is a rainbow Put one in your pocket Take it with you Then when you're home You'll have something that's new A room full of rainbows Beautiful rainbows A room full of rainbows Grubby, Gimmick, and I began to gather the prettiest rainbow rocks we could find. Meanwhile, Wooly had finally found a rock large enough to cover the entrance of the cave and stop the flow of water. As he was carrying it over to the cave, he tripped over a little rock and fell backwards. Grubby, Gimmick, look! The water is rising! We'd better get out of here! And fast! Oh no! The entrance is blocked! Oh, uh, it's time to take out picture wheel number one and put the wheel with the number two in. Be sure that the arrow on the wheel is lined up with the arrow on the projector's slot. You should now be looking at picture number 15. At first, we thought that a big, hairy, purple rock was blocking the way. <laughs> we pushed the big purple rock as hard as we could, but it just wouldn't move. The water was getting higher and higher. And then, something started swishing around. Grubby thought he was being attacked by a water monster. I took a deep breath and dove under the water. And I found out what, or who, the water monster really was. It's not a rock blocking the entrance. It's Wooly. 
But how were we going to get Wooly out? He was stuck tight, and we didn't have much time. Think fast. Uh, I know. Let's try tickling him. We all dove under the water and started tickling Wooly. <laughs> he started to laugh, and the harder Wooly laughed, the more he wiggled and wiggled until he popped right out of the cave. <laughs> Look at Wooly in picture number 17. He was very surprised when we tickled him. But our troubles weren't over. The water started rushing out of the cave. We all swam as hard as we could. The water current was strong, but we managed to get back onto land. Phew, is everyone all right? Oh, good. Then let's block the cave with this big rock and get back to the airship. Uh, Wooly, please tell the Grunges, the Elves, and Wood Sprites about our plan. But please make sure Tweeg and LB don't find out about it. It's got to be a secret. Wooly ran off to tell everyone. Grubby Gimmick and I flew back to Gimmick's house and built a strange-looking contraption. Then we put on our disguises and started out for Tweeg's tower. When we got there, we heard Tweeg laughing. <laughs> rich! I'm rich! Who are you? Can you tell which disguise I'm wearing in picture number 20? <clears throat> uh, yes. We're noted explorers in search of the famous colored water of Grundo. If you could help us, good sir, we would be most grateful and we'll pay you most generously, to be sure. Pay? Generously? Uh, please explain more, oh kindly explorers. I placed the strange-looking machine we'd made on Tweeg's table. Then Gimmick poured some red water into the machine, and out popped a small red stone. <coughs> Gimmick told Tweeg that it was really a ruby. But you know it wasn't a ruby at all. It was one of the colored rocks we'd gathered in the cave above Rainbow Falls. Then Gimmick poured some green water into the machine, and out popped a green stone. <coughs> Tweeg thought it was an emerald. Absolutely incredible! Our plan was working. It's wonderful, it's marvelous, it's, it's money. I must have it. Next, we pretended we were out of colored water. So we asked Tweeg if he could help us find the colored water of Rainbow Falls. Alas, I have some tragic news. It seems that every drop of Rainbow Falls water disappeared from Grundo years ago. But Tweeg offered to help us by taking our useless machine off our hands. Would you consider selling this totally worthless machine to me? And that's exactly what we did. As soon as we left, Tweeg ran toward Rainbow Falls. He couldn't wait to begin making gems. But when he got there, he saw that Rainbow Falls was completely dry. The water! Where's all the water? Tweeg was very upset, but then he remembered that there was some Rainbow Falls water left in Grundo, the water he had sold as Uncle Arnie's old-fashioned Tweezel remedy. <laughs> he had to get that water back at any cost. <laughs> Remember this picture of Tweek? He put on his Uncle Arnie disguise again and tried to buy back the remedy from all the grunges, wood sprites, and elves. But everyone followed our plan perfectly. No one would sell. Hey, uh, like this stuff is tubular, man. Uh, I'm not selling it. All right, all right. I'll buy it back at triple the price. Maybe. Then everyone did as we suggested. They sold it back to Tweeg for triple the price they had paid. Okay. As soon as Tweeg paid everyone, he rushed back to his tower to try out the gem-making machine and make his fortune. Carefully, 
he poured rainbow water into the machine. But the rock that popped out was just plain. Just an ordinary gray rock. Here, yeah, what's wrong with this thing? Of course, nothing was wrong with the machine. After all, it wasn't really a gem-making machine. Tweeg only wished it was. Tweeg was so angry that he kicked the machine. Yow! But he only succeeded in hurting himself. Tweeg should have learned that when you're not honest, you hurt yourself too. And sometimes you hurt other people as well. I wonder if Tweeg learned his lesson this time. What do you think? I hope I can share another picture show story with you soon. Bye-bye for now. Why don't you come along with me to my picture show? Come along, come along, come along, let's go. Oh, I really like to go to the picture show. Come along, come along with me.